Well, I think it, it pretty much rubber stamps any idea as to what the community brand or uh, trademark is. It is the only one in North America, uh, and so it is extremely uh, important and remarkable uh, for uh, the United States. Uh, it is a recognition uh, of the seriousness with which we take writing and writers uh, in this town, in the university, uh, and also for the, for the state of Iowa. I think it's a wonderful feather in our cap. I always talk about the writers' workshop and the writers in this community generally as being one of the crown jewels that are part of the history and the traditions of the University of Iowa. And to have the designation is truly special. It's going to mean great things for the community. I think from where I sit, I immediately uh, correlate the, the program body of work to cultural programming and a whole nother level of cultural programming and recognition for this community, uh, obviously completely centered around the, the literary and literacy aspects uh, of this great community. So uh, there's a lot to be excited about and uh, all of that starts really with the foundation that, that Chris Merrill and, and um, created for us. He generally calls me and tells me when he's going to some place around the world, like Iran or Iraq. And my first question is always, Chris, are you sure you want to go to these places? They sound dangerous. He's undaunted by that because what it does is it gives him a chance to talk to people in these countries who really are looking to try to have a voice. And the one thing Chris wants to do is help them have that voice. Whatever we're talking about on the telephone, whatever issue or problem or opportunity we're talking about, I always tell him and remind him that I'm counting on him for world peace. Now that is only half a joke. Cultural diplomacy of the kind that he uh, pursues with the International Writing Program and also with the Cities of Literature is among the most important instruments of foreign policy this country has, and yet it is the most neglected or ignored. Uh, it is viewed as sometimes as an ornament. Uh, it is not. Uh, it tracks a very basic impulse uh, in human nature. Uh, that is the impulse to express and to connect with uh, other people, and that's the kind of thing that he protects uh, with the uh, International Writing Program and the Cities of Literature. I'm proud of both things. Uh, he's certainly an ambassador, and uh, that's been proven by his uh, hard work uh, for the State Department, and uh, he certainly is an ambassador for the University of Iowa, if, if not the, uh, the entire literary community. I think without Chris Merrill, this community would be uh, far less a community in terms of its status now as a UNESCO City of Literature, certainly, but far less a community in terms of its dedication and devotion to literature, the arts, the humanities, you name it. Christopher is a, Chris is, Chris is what we call a citizen diplomat too. Yeats said in one of his poems, I went out to the hazel wood because a fire was in my head. That's Chris Merrill. If you know Chris Merrill, you know that this man not only has charisma, not only has a command of the language that very few people have, but he has true charisma when it comes to getting people to understand the significance or the importance of something that he's passionate about. Um, you know, he's just a very accessible and cool guy to begin with. Uh, I was joking with somebody the other day who was uh, needing a number out of my phone and they happened to look in my phone and they saw, saw that I had Hayden Fry's cell phone number in my phone and they said, that's got to be the coolest cell phone number you have in your phone. But you know, in actuality, it's not. <laughs> you know, I'm fortunate to have Dan Gable's phone number in my phone, but I think Chris Merrill's the coolest person in my phone. The fact that I know Chris Merrill and to, and to know what Chris Merrill has done for the literary community for the University of Iowa, um, I take great pride in calling him a friend.